pumpkin season is finally here. I just love cooking with pumpkin this time of year, and this is such a simple recipe. I'm Tess, and today I'm making pumpkin butter on the stovetop. Really easy and really good. You can make pumpkin butter in the crock pot, but today I'm making an easy version on the stovetop, and it's only going to take about 30 minutes. In a pan on medium heat, I'm adding one large 29 ounce can of pumpkin puree. And this is not the pumpkin pie mix. You want pure pumpkin. Next, I'm adding a half a cup of applesauce, and I'm using unsweetened. Adding in a half a cup of water, and giving that a good stir to get well combined. With the holiday season coming, I am planning on making more pumpkin and dessert recipes. I wrote down all your suggestions, and I plan on making a good many of them. There were definitely a lot of pumpkin ideas, so stay tuned. And if you haven't already done so, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It's greatly appreciated. In goes a half a cup of granulated sugar and a good tablespoon of pumpkin pie spice. And this is going to be all the spice I will be adding to the pumpkin butter. This pumpkin spice blend has cinnamon, ginger, nutmeg, cloves, and some allspice. It has all the flavor we need. I'm also adding in a little pinch of salt. I'm adding in a quarter cup of pure maple syrup, which will add some flavor and sweetness, giving that another good mix. This is starting to smell like Thanksgiving. I'm turning my heat to a low medium and stirring occasionally, if not constantly. This is not the time to walk away because you don't want the mixture to burn. Going to stir and cook for 20 to 30 minutes. You will see the color start to change and darken. It's been around 30 minutes and the pumpkin butter is done. You can see some of the moisture is gone and the mixture is thickened. And by the way, it smells awesome. Remove from the heat and let it completely cool. You can store this pumpkin butter in a lid container and refrigerate for at least up to two weeks. And it also can be canned. My favorite way of eating pumpkin butter is with pumpkin popovers. It's also good with fresh bread, toast, or with some graham crackers. And here in Pennsylvania, we'd like a couple scoops of the pumpkin butter on top of cottage cheese. This is an easy and tasty pumpkin butter recipe. I hope you give my recipe a try and enjoy. If you like this video recipe, please remember to hit the like and subscribe button to receive my future recipes. Please feel free to share my channel with your friends and family. It really helps my channel grow and it is greatly appreciated. And until next time, much love.